Hello everybody, Sankaide back here again with Let's Play Final Fantasy. Oh yes indeed, here we are. We can the ship here, so don't worry about any enemies. Yeah, we are back. And we are back here at Cormier because I feel like going somewhere else instead of standing around Orna on rack. Yeah. Um, well today I might as well show you how to get to the well, actually there's only like one place we haven't been yet, where we obviously probably have to go next, considering well, it's about the only place on the map we haven't been to yet, considering. But I should probably take you over to Leaf Finish just for the sake of going all the way over just to show you how to get here. It's pretty straightforward. Um, yeah, be careful of some of the enemies here. A lot of them aren't really not nice up here. But, like I said, there's only one way to get there, and that's to land here. So, let's go there, shall we? Oh, here's a guy that's, uh... Actually, this guy really isn't that bad. If you if you're in the Power Peninsula, if you did that, you could actually find this guy. He actually gives a good amount of experience for one just one guy, and a lot of good kill if you can find him. He's actually... I bet you this is actually a pretty good place to level up, too. Like the Power Peninsula. I mean, basically the Power Peninsula is the same guys that are here. Um, you know, nothing too spectacular about these guys. They're just do what you see. I mean, they can they can hit your mages pretty hard. I will admit that. But they don't really have a horrendous amount of HP that you can't take them out very easily. So don't worry about it. They can hit pretty hard, but they're not that powerful at this point. Especially if you're at the level that I'm at right now, and you can see that's what you get for them right there: 846, 502. I ain't gonna complain. So, um, so you have to go over here, and then of course south. Yeah, some of the monsters you faced already are in the battles that are here. You can guess who was in that battle. They're my favorite enemies. Alright, so you wanna keep going south. Oh, Frost Wolf. Actually, that's true. We actually haven't seen any Frost Wolves yet, actually. Or have we? I don't know, good question. Um, well, as you can see, they have the ability to frost, which, in a huge group like this, is a pain in the ass! Come on! <sighs> I hate these idiots, I really do. They're really not that bad, but as you, if you get them in large groups like this, obviously they can do a shitload of damage to you. With frost over and over and over and over and over again. I don't like you guys! Obviously, you can guess what their weakness is, though, so I'm going to use it right now, just because I feel like I'm getting my ass handed to me by these guys. Oh, come on. Don't use it again. Better get a chance to attack. These guys are very quick. Even at the level that I'm at now, these guys are pretty quick. Um, roughly 100-something HP. Eh, not that bad. Oh, come on. Give him a break now. Oof, 388, jeez. And that's not even that's not even the extent of the damage that he'll be able to do. Come on, man! Why do you have to kill off my guys? Why you gotta be a bitch and kill off my favorite guy? That's not fair. Whatever, I got life, I can heal his ass. There you go. Oh well, a little less experience for the fighter. Not that it's very much anyway. Yay! Level 24 for one character. Um, yeah, whatever. That's the stupid thing about the life spell, is it only gives you back one HP. It's like, come on, dude. Give me more. But, I have Cure Force, so it doesn't matter. Ha 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 Alright, so let's keep going. Mm, before I forget. Hmm. Uh, I'm just trying to think. You're gonna walk around and you're gonna run into a battle. That's why I'm like, oh shit, I just took two steps around. That means I'm gonna run into a battle if I go any further. Alright, we made it. Thank God. Um. Okay. Loop. Loopa? Well, someone did say we wouldn't be able to, to understand these people. And, um. Yeah, I don't. I can't. Anybody, anybody know what that is? Is that, is that actually even a word in some other language that I'm not aware of? Or is that literally just gibberish? Like, I don't, I don't know. Whatever. Uh. 
Do they all just say Lupa? Yeah, they all just say Lupa. What's up with that guy? He's like standing in the corner over there. Um, well, there really isn't much going on in this town at the moment, as you can quite plainly see. Everybody can't understand a fucking thing that you're saying. <laughs> Or maybe they can understand you, and you just can't understand them. I guess that's really what it amounts to. Um, but while we're here, there's at least one thing we can do uh, that I can show off. So, I was referring to... Hey, 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 you, get out of the way. Out of the way! Okay, good. Jeez. But, um, here is your, uh your lovely black magic and white magic shop here in this particular town. Now, guess what these spells are. Yep, you guessed it. These are the level 8 spells, the really, really devastating spells. This one is black magic nuke. Basically like flare. This spell is going to be your best friend later in the game. Get it. Alright. Now, I was just telling you about life. Yeah. There's life, too, here. This will bring back somebody to full health. It's basically all revive, or max revive, whatever you want to say. Get it. And that's all we really... It's actually really all we need here. I guess I could just walk off. Walk off into the sunset, kids. Alright, well, obviously we can't understand anything that anybody says here. But, there's somebody that can help us. We got the slab last time. We were in, uh, whatchamacallit, the, uh... The, uh, the cave there. The, no, it's not the cave. It's the sea shrine. The sea shrine. There we go. Um, and that was Dr. Oon. Do you remember where Dr. Oon is? Well, I will meet you there. Because that's exactly where we need to go next. And, uh, I don't think you want to see me walking back. And seeing enemies you've probably faced already. If there are any other enemies along the way, I'll just show them. I mean, there's a few others I'm sure that you would probably see at the Power Peninsula, but you'll see them here, and I don't probably didn't show them on screen yet, so I'll do that. So I shall be back shortly. Uh, Mr. Giant, I, I don't know how to tell you this, but, um. I'm pregnant. Alright, and here we are in a very familiar town. Just in case anybody forgot where we can find Dr. Rune, he is back here in Melmond. And uh, he's, uh, he's up over here. This, uh, this fancy guy over here with his arms crossed. Hey, get out of my way. I'm trying to find the doctor. Doctor who? No, it's Dr. Oon. Hey, come on, man. Get... What? Come back this way! Damn you. NPC. Thank you. Jesus, man. Come on. Alright, so a slab, this slab will lead us to solve the riddle of the leaf finish. Now listen to me. And somehow we managed to learn the entire language. In like ten, in like two seconds, we learned the entire language. Fuck logic, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care, just moving along, moving along. Now that we're able to understand them, I, um... I'm gonna head my way back over there. Uh, to the town. Because I think it'd be stupid as hell to show it on screen. How to get back there, because I just told you how to get there. Um, remember, these, actually, I'm going to use Corneria now, because I need it. Anyway, so I shall see you there! Ah, here's an enemy you can face out here. Um, Anklo. Actually, there's, there's actually two different versions of this guy you can face out here. The red Anklo and this guy. Um, he's, he's, of course, the weaker of the two. Um... You know what, there really isn't much to say about this guy. He's another vanilla enemy out here. He's a pretty tough, hardened foe, but if you can get some good hits in on him, you can really take him down. Or maybe he's not the weaker of the two. Maybe the red one isn't as weaker. I'm not too, sh not too sure about that. I'd have to look at the stats. You'd have to look at the stats for those. But there are two different ones, the red and this, this guy here. I mean, they're both pretty much the same. They're good hard hitters. A little defensive, because obviously they look like they are, but... Nothing spectacular. Oh, and level 24 for Otto. Well, that's actually good, considering he probably didn't really have enough power and died in that battle and lost a little experience. 
All right, here we are back at the finish. So, um, can we understand you now? Oh, well, well, we wish we'll treat it with care then, just, uh... In 400 years, wars of the orbs will appear to save our people. Yes, we are! Oh, yes, we are, man. We are so fabulous. You know we are. Man, these people know who we are. That's scary. And we just understood their language now. Okay, whatever you say. Oh, so we do have to go to that tower, because that's where the floating castle is. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, I know I just started, you know, talking to you and everything, but seriously, you gotta move out of my way now. Our last five words have to find the cause of the world's decay. We know they live, but as bats. Well, I feel bad for going after the bats now. Unless, of course, they're not the same. Bats. Uh, our five bravest warriors left never to return, and they there's a power for the fiends that's very good. Okay. Tiamat. Mmm, that must be the next fiend. Alright. Ah, oh, so we do need to go to the floating castle. I bet you that's who we need to go after. Uh, who are you? Oh! Okay, useful. Now, this is actually the only real guy you have to talk to in this entire place. He'll give you the, uh, the chime or the bell, whatever version you're playing. So with that, we can enter the tower, which is good. Um, come on, man, you better go down more space, thank god. Sometimes the NPCs are nice. Hey, hey, no, you're not blocking me off. Yep, see? I was close. Alright, so let's go over here. Let's talk to these guys, see if we can find anything else. The power of the wind. Oh, cool. That's awesome. Wind being able to suspend castles. I like it. The universe! I wonder if they found out that the, 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 answer, the ultimate answer to everything in the life of the universe and everything is, uh, 42. Because that's what it is. It's 42. Yeah. Amongst the stars. Hmm. Interesting. Well, that's not nice. Oh! You're the guys that made the robots. Cool. Well, they're still moving around nearby. One of them us gave us a cube. I guess we're gonna need that cube for something. Alright, so now we know what we have to do. We have to go to the Mirage Tower, which is over in the desert. So, um... I'm gonna head back to Corneria now and, and heal and everything, because I know I've had a problem getting here. Frost Wolves actually being a pain. I mean, they're not really that much of a problem, it's just they can keep frosting you over and over and over again, and it's, it's just, you kill so much HP off of you. Especially with a ninja, as I said, he may be good, and, but I can see why people hate it so much, it's because it's just, you don't have anything good for him to wear, so, and he's gonna kill. But anyway, um, I will meet you back at Corneria, and then we will shall head to the desert where the Mirage Tower lays. So, I shall see you there.